Red flag is the most advanced and realistic air combat training uh, and it's very important for the airmen, especially the young airmen. Uh, most of them are participating in this uh, exercise for the very first time. So you hone our skills and get ourselves ready for combat. Overall, our airmen has uh, done very well in this exercise. The learning curve is no doubt very steep for many of the young airmen who is uh, for the very first time uh, interoperating together with the United States Air Force as well as the participants in this exercise for the very first time. Uh, I want to thank the United States Air Force as well as the Reflex staff for putting this uh, together so that we are able to uh, pitch our skills as well as our competencies uh, against the very best uh, in this Reflex 21-2. Frankly, the COVID is still rampant. It is still something uh, that we don't deal with it uh, in the past exercises that we were here. Uh, I think it's important that we continue to upkeep our discipline uh, so that we keep ourselves safe and also other participants safe uh, so that we can continue to go out there and do what we need to do and get all the technical lessons and the uh, learning that we can get out of this exercise. I think it uh, comes down to hard work, uh, discipline and pride. Uh, hard work is uh, really good to see on the line every day uh, all the young airmen, the uh, air crew as well as the loft crew putting in all the extra effort and time to uh, churn out the aircraft for us to fly uh, in terms of discipline you know i'm very happy to see everyone putting in that extra effort uh, amid very difficult covid pandemic time uh, that is still rampant out here and uh, lastly i see a lot of pride uh, everyone uh, on the flight line is beaming with confidence and pride uh, just very grateful to have this opportunity to be here. The exercise is a valuable opportunity for our airmen and women to hone their competencies in a realistic training environment along participants from other air forces. The training was made more realistic by having a dedicated adversarial force employing advanced tactics and electronic warfare. Stringent safe management measures for COVID-19 were put in place to ensure that our personnel and other participants were able to train safely, such as wearing of masks, safe distancing, cohorting, and reduction of physical interaction with other exercise participants. We are thankful to the United States Air Force for the opportunity to participate in this exercise, and we look forward to more opportunities to train together.